What if it's not about raising the highest yield? What if it is more about tightening our yield curve? This is Chris with A Better Way to Farm. Just thinking on that topic here this morning, walking some corn and, and checking some cattle before it gets too hot on us. I want to show you guys this one specific spot here on this particular farm of ours, and I'll show you what we're looking at here. So as you can see, this area right here, you can see there's really, it's really sloped. It really falls off on this back end. And so this area right here, this knob, it is pretty much straight clay. Um, I can tell you in the past, when we've farmed this, when it's been corner beans, I can remember my grandfather saying, you know what, on this corner here, just don't worry about spreading fertilizer here because nothing's gonna grow, right? And that's something that we've noticed here. Since we've started changing our fertility program a little bit and uh, row placing nutrients, row placing high quality products, your orthophosphate starter with your micronutrients, but this area here that I'm talking about, I can tell you, I can remember growing up and on this corner, we, we just wouldn't even bring the cart, the dry spreader cart to this corner. Uh, we would plant it, but either the stand was pretty cruddy or there was nothing there pretty much, depending on the year, right? Depending on the weather. So that's something to think about. Maybe it's not all about high yield, but what if we can bring up and tighten those yield curve on those lower production areas and increase our farm average?